The main generic feature that the Volkswagen Passat B6 has retained is the durability and corrosion resistance of the body. Remember the old bike from the VZ generation that the legendary letters ZZZ in the identification number, which actually do not carry information, supposedly mean triple galvanization. If you follow the integrity of the paintwork, then even in cars of the first years of production, rust will be evidence of an illiterate body repair. And the chrome-plated finish of the radiator grill and moldings primarily suffers from salty Mayer's cocktails and the electrician of the rear parking sensors and the illumination of the number on the fifth door of the station wagons are capricious. From the internal electrics, alas, there are much more surprises. After five or six years, it happens that the heating or electric seat adjustment fails, the electric parking brakes, door and trunk locks go wrong, the diodes and the taillights burn out. A jam turning mechanism can turn adaptive headlights into regular ones, and an ELV electronic steering column lock that turns off and opportunely refuses to unlock the steering wheel. But especially carefully when buying, you need to check the operation of climate control. If it fools, you will have to replace the servo drives of the air duct dampers located in the bowels of the front panel. The squeaky singing motors of the stove fan often changed and under warranty after 70 to 80,000 kilometers, and for the cars of the first two years of production, the air conditioning compressor does not differ in reliability. Engines will have to be examined no less meticulously. If the 1.8 TFSI turbo engine popular on our market, 22% of offers, in cars older than 2010 with a mileage of more than 100,000 km rumbles with the eternal timing chain, then it's better to hurry to the service. The cost of a new drive kit is incomparable with the price of a cylinder head, and it will certainly be needed if the surrendered hydraulic tensioner allows the stretch chain to jump several links. Still at risk is the cunning water pump of the cooling system in a block with a thermostat and a temperature sensor that can leak before 90,000 kilometers, 150 to 170 euros together with the dry belt from the balancer shaft. By the same run, the damper bushings in the intake manifold may wear out, the entire manifold will have to be changed for 450 euros, or the turbocharger control solenoid valve may fail. Saving on oil after 100 to 120,000 kilometers will surely come back to haunt not only the strike of the valve of the crankcase ventilation system and, as a result, the leaky crankshaft oil seal, but also an old sore of Volkswagen engines, a jammed, usually in the open position, oil pump pressure reducing valve, oh what will the emergency oil pressure light in the engine tell you? And you will have to add oil, especially for those who like high speeds, up to half a liter per 1,000 kilometers. But against the background of the Big Brother 2.0 TFSI, this is a starvation ration. If, after a run of 100 to 150,000 kilometers, from 0.7 to 1 liter of oil disappears from the crankcase of a 2-liter engine every 1,000 kilometers, replacing the oil separator in the crankcase ventilation system can help. But when replacing the valve stem seals does not save even more appetite, that is valve seals. You will have to disassemble the motor and change the piston rings. But even this measure is often not a panacea. The untimely deceased ignition coils and injection system injectors are capable of adding costs to the maintenance of this unit, and after 45,000 kilometers the condition of the timing belt, it only rotates the exhaust camshaft, from which the intake camshaft is driven by the chain, is better controlled at each MOT. Replacing the cylinder head at the engine 2.0 TFSI is even more expensive, and the belt, unlike the chain, breaks silently, without warning shots. For cars older than 2008, there is another reason for repairing the head. After 150,000 kilometers, the drive rod of the high-pressure fuel pump grinds off the intake camshaft drive cam. The pump stops pumping properly, and the shaft has to be changed. Trade winds with 1.6 FSI and 2.0 FSI Bezlovnik direct engines are better to choose. In the cold winter season, they became famous for problems with starting in cold weather. The manufacturer fought this to the last releasing new and new firmware for the ECU unit, it makes sense to check the freshness of the software with the dealer. And it mechanically help the motor can be a guarantee of health, cleanliness. First, you need to monitor the cleanliness of the mesh filter in the low-pressure fuel pump, it is located in the fuel tank under the rear seat. Officially, the filter changes only with the pump, but demand creates supply, unofficial, craftsmen offer to change it separately, for 80 euros along with work. And secondly, Every 30 to 50,000 kilometers it is advisable to remove and clean the nozzles, 250 euros for work. By the way, 
the ignition system for all direct FSI engines categorically does not like short winter trips, tight driving, and long idling. In the absence of proper warm-up of the spark plugs on a trowing engine, you will have to change the oil more often, after 10 to 12,000 kilometers, and without delay, faulty spark plugs quickly disable the ignition coils. And the 2-liter version, in addition, is brought to idle speed jumps up to 2,000 RPM or even to a stop by the striking valve of the exhaust gas recirculation system. In general, the Passat turned out to be the most reliable gasoline engine of the good old 1,600 cubic centimeters with conventional distributed injection. But this is rare in the secondary market. In 6% of cars, few people are satisfied with the dynamics of a 102 horsepower 1.5 ton car. That is why, when choosing a used Passat, it makes sense to look at diesel modifications. 42% of cars. Moreover, it is better to give preference to the younger 2-liter engines with the common rail power system, CBA and CBB series, of cars starting in 2008. The only unplanned source of serious costs for the fuel system for them may be the replacement of the injection pump, but this is if you regularly fill fuel at suspicious gas stations. Usually, worries with these motors come down to replacing nozzle seals after 100,000 kilometers. 8-valve diesel engines 1.9 and 2.0 are riskier to choose because of the expensive pump injectors in the power system, and motors of the VMA, VKR, BMR series with piezoelectric pump injectors are even more capricious. Their injectors sometimes do not even care for 50,000 km, and in addition they have poor wiring, if after 120,000 km the engine suddenly starts to troy and start poorly, the first thing to do is to check if the connectors at the injectors have melted. For 2-liter diesel engines older than 2008, after 180 to 200,000 kilometers, the hexagonal roller of the oil pump drive usually wears out and is cut off. If you do not notice the signal about the lack of oil pressure and time, the entire engine will go into consumption. And after 150,000 kilometers, a dull knock in the area of backslash U200B backslash U200B the rear wall of the engine should alert, foreshadowing the replacement of a two-mass flywheel, falling apart it can damage the starter, clutch, or even break the gearbox housing with fragments of damp or springs. But with the transmission, you won't get bored without it. The 4-motion all-wheel drive system with the Haldex clutch delivers the least trouble. If you do not forget about changing the oil in it every 60,000 km, it is unlikely to require attention before 250,000 km. And you also need to keep an eye on the internal CB joints, leaked grease will cost 70 euros for a new joint. Things are not bad with manual gearboxes, a 5-speed one on cars with a 102 horsepower 1.6 gasoline engine and a 1.9 diesel engine with a capacity of 105 liters. With and 6-step on other versions. Only leaking oil seals can fail after 70 to 80,000 kilometers, and the boxes on cars older than 2008 have rather weak shaft bearings, which are extremely sensitive to the oil level. With a 6-speed automatic Diptronic, Things are worse. The box of the TF60 SN series, or 09 according to WAG classification, developed jointly with Eisen turned out to be prone to overheating, which is why the bearings and the hydraulic control unit suffer first. If after 60 to 80,000 kilometers the gear shift becomes shock, you will have to look for 1,100 euros to replace the valve body or revive it for a while, restoring it from the craftsman for 400 euros. And yet, the reputation of the Passat was not tarnished by the classic automatic, but by the revolutionary pre-selectives DSG, direct shawl getrieb or direct shift gearbox. But not because the 6-speed Borgwarner DQ250 paired with 2-liter diesels, 3.2 VR6 gasoline engines and 1.4 and 1.8 turbo engines is called wet, multiplate clutches work in an oil bath. Oil, by the way, is not simple, but almost golden, ATF DSG at 22 euros per liter of which seven are needed when replacing every 60,000 kilometers. The weak point of this robot is exactly the same as that of a conventional machine, a mechatronic hydraulic control unit. Here are just problems with jerking in the first two gears and bumps when shifting gears can please after only 20,000 kilometers, and the new unit will pull on 1,700 euros. But the wit robot is far from the sad glory of the seven-speed DSG DQ200 with luck dry clutches that appeared in 2008. Or complete happiness, the same problems with the mechatronics, the price of which increased to 2,000 euros with the addition of one gear, were supplemented by inadequate clutch work. 
almost all the owners visited the service with complaints about jerks and twitches. The brains of the control unit were massively ref lashed in an attempt to correct the moment of closing and opening of the discs as they naturally wear out, clutch packs or entire boxes changed. But after 40 to 50,000 kilometers everything started all over again. The upgraded DSG-7 robot with a modified control unit and reinforced clutches appeared only at the end of 2010. But, realizing the scale of the disaster, in the summer of 2012, Volkswagen extended the warranty on the DQ200 box to 5 years or 150,000 kilometers. Against this background, the weak points of the suspension already seemed like a dry trifle, although the main ones are the silent blocks of the front levers which had first changed under warranty in just 20 to 30,000 kilometers. In 2008, the silent blocks were strengthened, and they began to walk at least no less than the stabilizer struts, steering tips, front shock absorbers and their upper supports, everything, as if on cue, starts to get tired after 100,000 kilometers.